I, Mr. Munir Mengal, Principal Representative of Miman Association, welcome you all for coming to this side event at the occasion of 54th Human Rights Council session. So, as you people know, the title of today's this event is Enforced Disappearances. Our organization have received multiple reports from the organizations they are working back uh, in Balochistan, There's from the social media, from the other media outlets, we have received information that a state is involved in disappearing the people in mass number. The number is so high that some civil society representatives claim that the number of enforced disappearances in Balochistan is more than 50,000 people, including women and children. So when we were analyzing to the South Asia, we thought that it is highly important for us to give a focus to those voices that why those people are subject to enforced disappearances. Uh, with this respect, we have very high learned panelists with us and, you know, uh, parliamentary members, journalists, civil society representatives, nations representatives. So I welcome you all. Uh, due to the time limit, you know, I will introduce them when I give them floor. So first of all, I request uh, uh, respected Christopher Lundberg. He is a Swedish uh, politician, human rights activist, and he has been raising the voices of different communities in uh, Sweden. He has been with the Baloch people as well, and he's working to save the lives of the children who are affected due to uh, various issues throughout the globe. Sir, I'm highly thankful to you. The floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, the Pakistani elite has been troubled with an uh, economic uh, collapse and uh, Pakistan foreign currency reserves are now almost non-existent. And uh, inflation is hitting well above 13 uh, percent. According to finan Financial Times, fuel, food and uh, soap has continued rising in price by 18 percent year by year. Let us be clear. The deep economic, social, and political crisis in Pakistan has nothing to do with what individuals are in power. It's a product of the entire capitalist system, the ruling class, as a part of the disgraceful uh, legacy of the imperialism and colonialism. The crisis in uh, Pakistan now reaches new levels, and the situation in uh, Balochistan is probably the most critical. More than 60% of the population in Balochistan lives in poverty. And to add to the social, economic and political oppression, the Baluch is also hit hard by the regime's war on the Baluch people. Pakistan Security Service has disappeared Baluch people for 20 years. And yet it's the Baluch people who are betrayed, uh, portrayed as terrorists. So the need of justice for the Baluch people are urgent. The new military offensive in Balochistan has now been going on for several days. The Pakistani army and intelligence service violate human rights on a daily basis and dozens of innocent Baloch people have been forcibly disappeared. On September 27, early in the morning, the Pakistani security forces kidnapped four Baloch youth from New uh, Kahan area of Quetta, uh, including Asla Mari and Abdul uh, on September 23, a young guy, Samila, was taken away from Miri Karat area in Turbat. Dr. Yamuk uh, Bukti was abducted on the 22nd of September. On September 21, a student, Malik Yunaid, was abducted by the security forces at a gas station. Sharsad Baluch was uh, abducted the same day from his workplace at the university. Imam Baksad and his son Imam Din Bukti uh, have been forcibly abducted by the Pakistani army from Dera Bukti. Since launching its clean, uh, ethnic cleaning targeting the Baluch population, the Pakistani army have carried out target killings of ethnic and religious minorities, poli political activists, and human rights activists. Lawyers and Baluch leaders are hunted and tortured. Especially now, the young generation are hunted down, um, such as journalists, teachers, students, and human rights defenders. 2016, 
the UN got a list of 18,000 individuals gone missing in Balochistan. Just a few months later, the same list has grown with 3,000 persons. Since then, thousands of individuals have gone missing by enforced disappearance. So over the last two decades, uh, more than 50,000 people can be missing, and another 10,000 Baluch people have been killed by the Pakistani security forces under, under its kill and dump policy. Enforced disappearance by shadow military agencies has been the uh, future of life in Pakistan for two, two decades. Those suspected of having ties to political opposition, resistance movement, human rights organizations are accused of terrorism and they are picked up and taken away to secret uh, detention centers without trial or uh, official uh, judicial process. They face days, months, or even years in torture, and some are eventually released, but most of them is never seen again. A victim told the Guardian that he was taken to a um, deep detention center. Um, he was left outside the torture cell to listen as four others were beaten. One after another, the men uh, were brought out consciousness, bloody and limp. They were carried on the shoulders of masked men until uh, it was finally his turn. They uh, whipped him until he was bleeding um, all over and broke his fingers. The Pakistani torture cells um, are used torture with electric chocks on their testicles, electric chocks on heads, face and neck, broken fingers, broken arms, crushed legs and drownings. The victim that uh, was talking to the Guardian uh, told that his head was plunged into a bucket of ice water. They pushed him down uh, until he was uh, on the brink of drowning. Those weeks in the torture cell killed my spirit ambition, he says. He also says that he was brought back as a dead body and felt that he would be a living dead after the humiliation. So we see an, uh, now an emerging women and youth movement growing in Pakistan against the uh, social, economic, and political oppression directed at the, uh, the people. And now the, the Pakistani regime have launched uh, an attack on the women movement. Uh, and this is because they are frightened of the ongoing uh, revolution uh, that's started in Iran after the murder of Gina. Um, so they are afraid that this uh, women revolution will spread uh, ac across uh, Balochistan and Pakistan. I can stay there then. Thank you, respected Christopher Lundberg, for giving a detailed account why the people of Pakistan are suffering uh, about the revolution uh, for, on which he was hinting that the people in Bulistan are saying that our land is under occupation and they want to regain their sovereignty on their land. Because of that, they are facing the state repression and enforced disappearances. Sir, I am highly thankful to you for your this detailed. Uh